Hi everyone and welcome back to the series of Python Unleashed. My name is Ajay and today's topic is we are going to develop a Python program for generating uh, the Ascarit pyramid that is in front of you. So this is the uh, pattern that we are going to generate using recursive function. Okay, already uh, you might have developed such a program using loops, but we are going to do this using a recursive function. Now there are, you know, some certain things that we need to take care of. The first thing is like we need to take care of the spaces. Okay, so the cursor starts from the left hand side and from there, then the, we need to just print the space and then we need to print one star character that is the asterisk character okay and then we need to come to the next line for example if this is like n is 5 in that case okay if n is 5 so we have kind of uh, five rows you can see okay so the first it will print four or the five underscore characters we can have five also but at this point these are like four underscore characters and then one star character then we come to the next line and then we print the three uh, underscore characters and then uh, we will print uh, three star characters and then we will have a two underscore characters and then we will have five okay and this is seven and this is nine characters that we are printed so this is actually going uh, you know in these are the odd numbers you can say this is one the asterisk character one star character then three then five then these are seven and then this is nine so we are going the odd number okay now these are certain things that we need to care of take care of because uh, when we are developing such a program using loops uh, so kind of it will be pretty easy but then just for practice purpose we are going to generate this pattern using recursive function okay so let us start and we will develop the program from scratch so the first thing that I need is a function a recursive function and let us call this recursive function as the outer loop so this will be working like an outer loop for me okay and I will have two values over here that is X and N now we'll just tell you why these two values are there uh, at this point just forget this X value okay and just focus on this n value for example n the value of n is 5 okay and so what I will do I will just check whether n is not equal to uh, 0 okay not equal to 0 and if this condition is true then I will simply give a call to the same function and I will pass n minus 1 now in my previous tutorials uh, like we have taken so many of exercises where we have I have explained you through some uh, graphical contents that how this works like so this is n is 5 so this will be 5 minus 1 so again the value 4 that will get passed and it is a call to the same function right so then 4 will get passed and then this condition goes true and then 3 gets passed then 2 then 1 and then 0 for 0 this condition becomes false and then the function will start returning and for that we need to give a condition for example else so the else part will get executed when this condition goes false and over here I will simply say return none because I don't want to do anything I just want to return none out here okay so this is the first outermost loop that we have achieved now we need to have one loop which will take care of uh, these you know spaces okay now that's the first thing that we need to need to take care of is this spaces so we need we are going to print the underscore characters okay so for example if n is 5 so this will go first time it will go 4 3 2 1 and then nothing okay so we need to take care of these uh, spaces so how we're going to do this so this will be running for maybe for five times means because it's a recursive function and when it starts returning okay so it will return none so it will return to the place at where it got called okay so i'm assuming that you have gone through my previous tutorials and uh, you know just 
just have you have understood how exactly the function returns to its previous call and what are the values and how the values of n you know first if the value of n is 5 so it becomes 4 3 2 1 and then 0 and then the function starts returning in a reverse, a reverse way so where n is 0 then 1 then 2 3 4 and 5 okay so if you are not aware of recursive function so my suggestion to you is do not go through this tutorial just go through my previous tutorials right from the basics about a recursive function and just go through all the exercises i have explained it very clearly and once you go through all those exercises then you come to this particular tutorial okay so let us move ahead now and we need to take care of the spaces right so we will have one more loop and we will call this loop as inner loop let me call this as one and the value that i will pass okay one thing i forgot is just pass this value x okay i will explain you we'll come back to this why i use this x okay and over here what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to pass uh, x minus n Okay, x minus n okay and then let me just have this function which is called as inner loop 1 and I will simply have n over here and the same condition that is n not equal to 0 okay if it is not equal to 0 then I'll just give a call to the same function. So even this is a recursive function. So we're not going to use any loops. Okay. Then n minus 1. And then even this function will be returning something. So I will just say return none. Okay. Now the point is where we are going to use the print statement by which we are going to print this underscore characters so we are assuming this like the space okay so this we need to take care of the space so i'm just having this underscore character so how i'm going to do this is just come to this while n not equal to zero if this condition goes true in that case i will just print the underscore character over here and then i will give end with null this is an empty string so it will stay in the same line i don't want that the uh, cursor should come to the next line so if we just give the print statement and you don't end it with some empty string so by default the cursor will come to the next line and i don't want that to happen okay so looks fine to me now just this will take care of uh, these spaces and uh, okay now what will happen is uh, we have one loop which will print this this uh, you know the space and then we need to have one more function which will take care of uh, the of uh, printing the the as uh, the asterisk character that is a star character okay and that i will do is by using x minus n okay and i will just say n into 2 minus 1 okay this is because for example this function was returning so it the function when it uh, for the outermost outermost loop function uh, when n becomes 0 so it will return none and when it returns the value of n will be 1 so this will be 1 into 2 and minus 1 so 2 minus 1 that is 1 so this will basically help us to print one star character and next time then the value of n will be 2 so 2 into 2 will be 4 and 4 minus 1 is 3 so it will help us to print this three characters so we are actually printing the odd numbers and nothing else so next time when this value of n will be 4, so 4 uh, into, not 4, 3, it will be 3, so 3 into 2 is 6 and minus 1. So we will have this uh, 5 star characters, okay? So this is the formula and then I need to, you know, define this function that is def inner, inner loop 2 and I will have this and 
and over here also I will have the same condition and not equal to zero and then um, I will simply give a call to the same function that is in fact I will use a print statement and inside this print statement I can use this loop the innermost loop which is a function we are not using any loops these are the, just the name of the functions okay and I will say uh, n minus 1 okay and once this condition goes false that is n not equal to 0 this condition goes false in that case I will just say return the star character over here also I will just say return the star character okay everything looks fine let us just run this and I have to explain you about this X what this X is going to do okay first thing that we need to do is give a call to the outermost function that is the outermost loop function and I will just pass 5 comma 5 so basically I am passing two arguments so X will return 5 and even X will receive 5 and N will also receive 5 let me just run this and uh, this is the output that we got but this is not the output that we require right so this is some kind of garbage so let us take care what went wrong so I think we had this outermost loop and this innermost loop okay the first thing that I need is give an end is equal to the null character because then what happens is every star character will come to the next one and that is what exactly happened over here isn't it but we don't want that thing to happen and then you can see we almost have the output something went wrong out here I guess okay uh, but no I want this once it prints this then I want it to come to the next line right but everything is coming into the same line so what I need to do is uh, after printing these this particular function will print the spaces like this the underscore characters and this will print the star character and then I want the cursor to come to the next line so I'll just say print slash and that's it now let us run this and you can see a perfect output in front of us this is the exact output that we wanted isn't it now let us come back to this X now let me explain this X what this X is doing if the value of n is 5 so we will pass the same value for x also so over here x is 5 n is also 5 right so both are receiving the same value that is 5 comma 5 the condition that we check is n not equal to 0 condition goes true and then we will give a call to the same loop that is the same function that is the outer loop function and we will pass the same value x so x will never change x will always remain the same but the value of n will change because the value of n was 5 now I am passing n minus 1 so that will be 4 so this will go 5 4 3 2 1 0 and will keep on uh, changing its value and then when this condition goes false then it will return what we are returning we are returning nothing okay but this x y I have used is because for this particular function that is innermost loop that is the inner loop one over here the value of x is always 5 since we are not manipulating anything with x isn't it and this n now what will be the value of n for the first return the first return when it once it returns it will be 1 so this will be 5 minus 1 and that is 4 right and this value 4 gets pass to this n and then this will print what it will print you can see this is the print statement and I'm passing n minus 1 so this will go on for four times and we will have this four underscore characters right once this uh, function gets returned it gets over and then this function that is inner loop 2 will get called and I already told about this formula why we have used this formula isn't it and then this this gets called and what we are doing over here we are just printing the star that is the asterisk character that is the star character isn't it so the first time it will print one star next time it will print three okay 
so this is how the working is going on so next time what happens is this will print stars then again this value gets this outer loop function will return to its previous call and then the value of n will be uh, 2 so this will be 5 minus 2 that is 3 and that value 3 will get passed to this so this will go on and print the 3 underscore characters and then 3 that is n is uh, 3 for 3 so 3 minus 2 uh, 3 into 2 that is 6 minus 1 and that is this uh, you know 5 characters over here okay this was like 3 so it printed uh, okay uh, for this it printed 4 and over here it was 3 so uh, the value of n was actually 2 so 2 into 2 that is 4 4 minus 1 that is and then these are the 3 star characters okay so this is how you can uh, develop a pyramid program using a recursive function so uh, maybe you know i understand i haven't used that uh, graphical contents to explain how the values are getting changed but now is a time that you should be able to grab this okay and if you're a beginner and you have just uh, you know come down to my youtube channel and to understand the recursive function so it is my kind request to go through my previous videos where I have taught the basics and we have taken some simple exercises and then now we are moving on to some complicated exercises okay so if you have uh, not gone through that please go through it and then come back to this particular video okay I hope you have enjoyed this video I told you recursive function every program that we can develop with a loop we can do the same program using a recursive function okay that's it for today. Bye for now.